What's up guys, welcome back to Across Nigeria where we do news on politics, celebrities and also metro stories. Um, I have a news here for you and this one is about um, Okorocha, the governor of Imo State, all right, where he alleged that um, PDP have begun massive uh, looting of government properties ahead of 20 uh, 29 May inauguration before I get started before I give you this story um, please I want to put a, uh, I want to I want to beg you if this is your first time on my channel uh, just support me by clicking on that red subscribe button and also click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever we have political stories and news for you and for those of us that want to start a career um, with YouTube, how to create a YouTube channel, how to um, uh, be a partner, how to join the YouTube partner program when you hit the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hour, all right? There is a video course for you, um, okay? So if you are interested in starting a YouTube just like my channel, there is a one-on-one -on -one service planetary video course and support for you to succeed okay so there is an email address on the description box below so um, you contact that email address uh, then i will tell you terms on how to get the video training course okay so let's get down to the news um governor roach has a coach of him as um, accused the state chapter of um, people democratic party pdp of embarking on a, a looting spree ahead of um, the May 29, 2019 inauguration. Okay, um, it was made known on Friday in a press release signed by Sam Owemedo, um, that is his chief press secretary. So he said, uh, in his statement, he says, um, we want to inform the general public and emo people in particular that the members of um, the People Democratic Party PDP in the state have embarked on systematic and violent looting of properties owned by the state and brought or installed by uh, Governor Rocha Sukorocha. So in doing that, they have adopted various unconventional tactics so they have removed most of the solar street light and other beauteous installation in the state's capital. Okorocha also said they have removed expensive seats kept in public buildings. They have also begun to snatch official cars, especially from the women appointees, and they operate mostly at night. So they have formed themselves into a property recovery committee and tax forces and they claim to have been set up and inaugurated by Chief Emeka Ihedioha who was declared winner of the March 9, 2019 governorship election in the state. So in the course of doing all this, they have robbed innocent citizens of the state of their belongings um, all these are what the PDP members are known for. They do not believe in ordinance, okay? And um, having stayed out of power for eight years, they have, uh, they behave like dead people who have been resurrected from the dead. The only problem is that they have deployed their own excitement into looting. Uh, they have continued to accuse the outgoing government of looting and in doing that they have not been able to associate any government functionary with any of their false claim or show evidence of their claim so um, we have also been informed that they clash with one of the contractor over some construction materials at the hero square when they prevented the contractor from conveying the material to his site and had tried to move the materials but the contractor resisted them 
So the PDP member have not changed and will never change. With their outward attitude this time, the irony also is that in doing these absorb things, DA do not care how the general the generality of Imo people feels. This is regrettable. All right. So that was the full statement made by Okorocha by his um chief press secretary that um the PDP have set up a tax force committee to loot or claim um uh, the, to loot government properties ahead of May 29 uh, inauguration. So what do you guys think about this? Do you only think this is just a political fight and opponent fight? Normally, politics, um, the, the real definition of politics is um, the affairs of the city, okay? And a, a lot of people say politics is a dirty game, okay? But what we are seeing here, um, uh, what these two guys are doing uh, Rocha Zokorocha, Emeka Hehedioha, it's as if two enemies are really fighting between themselves. These guys just keep fighting themselves with their own personal interests without even turning to look at how the masses, the affairs of the people of Imo state, they now turn themselves into political enemies, fighting between themselves and allowing the people of Imo state to wander around with their own activity without even knowing if they have a leader or not. I really don't know why if a, a, a um, grown-up man, matured man, political um, political godfather keep fighting themselves. If I may ask, if you ask them, why are you fighting between yourself? Uh, seriously, they may not really get any answers to the question. Is it because of the fame? Is it because of money? personal interest. Now, what happened to the masses, the people that voted you in into that office? Well, um, I really, I, I should I say I'm giving up on Nigeria. I'm not really going to give up, but it's still my country. If you have anything to contribute based on this story, or could it just be an allegation by Rocha Sokorocha to spell the image of a maker Ihedioha, or do you think um, or the allegation made by Rocha Sokorocha is just valid or just plain um, allegation and blame game as usual. All right, let me see your own reaction on the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, support me by clicking on that red subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video.